we move on the next exercise or uh, next introduction of exercise 2.1 it's our properties properties of real number properties of real number what are the properties of real number here we study the properties of real number the addition property and the multiplication property before studying the properties of a real number of addition uh, addition properties or a uh, multiplication properties of real number first of all we know some symbols some symbols we do not hear for example this symbol this symbol read as belongs to this symbol read as belongs to this symbol we read as belongs to clear this symbol we read as belongs to it's a greek symbol we read it as belongs to belongs to mean for example we have a set 1 2 3 4 5 we have a set a which is 1 2 3 4 5 5 first of all we see there are five elements in a set a which are 1 2 3 4 and 5 1 is in the set a was one the number one belongs to the set a that's why we write as one belongs to set a that is one is placed in a set a now again we see three is also belongs in a set a but if we write six belongs to a set a is there any number is there any sixth number uh, written in a set a no six doesn't belongs to set a how we write that doesn't belongs to doesn't belongs to belongs to symbol and then we write this line it means six doesn't belongs to set a now again negative 5 does not belongs to set a which means that negative 5 is not in a set a negative 5 is not in a set a clear before we studying these properties we have familiar with the symbol belongs to the other symbol is this symbol this symbol is used for all this symbol is used for all means sab ke liye for all for all means for every number this symbol is used for all and uh, in the previous lecture uh, uh, lecture number 11 we study that uh, the natural numbers the whole numbers the rational numbers the real numbers therefore if we uh, write that for all x belongs to r it means any element x which is belongs to set of real number any element of x which is belongs to set of real number now we study the properties on page number on page number 39 on page number 39 properties of real number properties properties of real number here the set is a set of a real number given set is a set of a real number in which all rational and irrational number are contained in which all rational and irrational numbers are contained the first property under addition clear la clear la or other uh, other words we say that clear property or clear law or clear property for all for all a b belongs to real number for all a b belongs to real number for all a b belongs to real number which means that both number a and b belongs to real number then obviously some a plus b also belongs to real number some a plus b also belongs to real number for example for example we take two numbers two numbers are any two numbers 2 3 we know that 2 and 3 both are real number these 2 and 3 belongs to real number if we add these number if we add these number 2 plus 3 what is the answer the answer is 5 is 5 is a real number or not 
yes 5 is a real number sum also belongs to a real number similarly we write for all a b belongs to real number then its product also belongs to real number then its product that is a dot b also belongs to real number this property is called a collier property this property is called a collier property this property is called a collier property is there any issue raise your hand is there any issue mohammed zaki mohammed zaki okay now sir ye exam yes yes sare example nahi samajh aaye sir example uh, again yes. samjha deta hu aapko first property is the collier property collier property means in a collier property we write here for all ab belongs to real number means any number which are belongs to real set clear here we take two numbers two numbers are a and b then sum also belongs to real number this property is called clear property if the both the numbers belongs to real number then their sum also belongs to real number this property is called a real property here we take only two numbers the first number is 2 and the second one is 3 both these numbers are a real number both these number are a real number clear now we see that the sum of these number belongs to a real number or not here we add these two number that is 2 plus 3 means first number and second number are added to each other it becomes 5 it becomes 5 and we see that 5 is also a real number which means that 5 also belongs to a real number that is 5 is in the set of a real number similarly similarly for all ab belongs to real number again we take two number then their product also belongs to a real, real number their product also belongs to a real number now we move on the next property the next property is the second property is commutative property commutative property in a commutative property commutative property or commutative law commutative property for all a b belongs to again set is a real number for all a b belongs to a real number then a plus b is equal to b plus a obvious if we add a with b or b with a the answer is same for example for example we take again any two real number first real number we take 5 the second real number we take 3 both 5 and 3 belongs to real number then we see that if we add 5 with 3 it becomes 8 or we add 3 with 5 it becomes 8 after replacing the place of the number we uh, have the same answer this property is called a collier property and we use the sign of addition we call the collier property with respect to addition we call this property the collier property with respect to addition similarly we used a dot b is equal to b dot a here we use the sign of multiplication therefore we say that collier property uh, commutative property with respect to multiplication commutative property holds with respect to multiplication now the next one property is associative property next one property is associative property associative property is same as the property of commutative associative property associative property in associative property we consider three numbers in associative property we consider three numbers for all a b c belongs to real number 
देन कंडीशन इज ए प्लस बी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी एड ए विद बी एंड देन विद सी इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी प्लस सी इन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी एड बी एंड सी देन विद ए दीज टू आंसर आर सेम और इन मल्टीप्लीकेशन फॉर्म इन मल्टीप्लीकेशन फॉर्म वी मल्टीप्लाई ए विद बी एंड देन विद सी और ए विद बी डॉट सी इन मल्टीप्लीकेशन फॉर्म बोथ द रिजल्ट आर ऑल्सो सेम इन मल्टीप्लीकेशन फॉर्म बोथ द रिजल्ट आर ऑल्सो सेम दिस प्रॉपर्टी इज कॉल्ड एसोसिएटिव प्रॉपर्टी दिस प्रॉपर्टी इज कॉल्ड एसोसिएटिव प्रॉपर्टी द अपर प्रॉपर्टी दिस वन इज कॉल्ड एसोसिएटिव प्रॉपर्टी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एडिशन एंड द लोअर वन इज associative property with respect to multiplication the next one uh, we have a property here additive identity the next one additive identity what is additive identity the next one property is additive identity on page number 40 additive identity in additive identity here we see that for all a belongs to real number if then a is added with some number it becomes again a which number we add with a then it again becomes with uh, then it again becomes a if we add some number with a then it again becomes a that number is called zero. additive identity zero very good if we add zero if we add zero with a then it becomes again a this zero is called this zero is called additive identity this zero is called additive identity this zero is called additive identity similarly if we if we multiply some number with a then it again becomes a what is that number one one very good if we multiply uh, one with a then again we have a this one is called multiplicative identity here we multiply this one is called multiplicative identity this one is called multiplicative identity zero is additive identity and one is multiplicative identity zero is additive identity and one is multiplicative identity clear remembering if we add a with some number then again we have a this number is called additive identity and this number is zero if we multiply some number uh, with a we have again a this number is one if we multiply one with a then it again becomes a this is called multiplicative identity clear now we move on to the next property next property is multiplicative or additive inverse inverse property this property is called inverse property next property is inverse inverse property in in inverse property for all a belongs to real number then there exist negative a if 2 is belongs to us any set then obviously negative 2 also belongs to such set if 2 is belongs to a set of real number obviously negative numbers are also belongs to a real number if for all a belongs to a real number a belongs to a real number then there exists negative a also belongs to a real number such that what is the condition such that such that if we add a with negative a it becomes additive identity it becomes additive identity if we add a with negative a it becomes additive identity this negative a is called this negative a is called additive inverse because we add that's why it's called additive inverse that's why it's called additive inverse if someone have a problem then raise your hand this negative a is called additive inverse this negative a is called additive inverse or abdullahad okay 
now we move on the next for all a belongs to real number then there exists 1 by a also belongs to real number such that sir, such sir, that sir sir, sir time over over sir, uh, we sir. have only 2 minutes and then for all a belongs to real number then there exists 1 by a such that a is multiply with 1 by a it becomes multiplicative identity it becomes multiplicative identity this 1 by a is called multiplicative inverse 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 okay now uh, the time is over of our lecture